Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and I am so excited today to show you my first thoughts of the Butterfly IQ 3, the third version. Now, it's kind of fun because I have the IQ, I have the IQ Plus, and now I'm going to show you the IQ 3. Now, briefly, the, the big thing here is, and I did demo this um, at uh, ASAP Scientific Assembly uh, this past year. Um, so it's slick, it's smaller, it's got a, a wireless uh, charging component to it, which I like. Now looking at what they say here, the big thing here is that it has a faster transfer data rate, so 4.8 gigabytes with the IQ versus uh, 9.6 gigabytes per second with the IQ3, and that's the IQ+, Plus, so the, the previous version. It is a bit smaller uh, than the IQ+, Plus, which I'll show you what that looks like. It's smaller, the probe itself is just smaller dimensions, better warranty and more buttons, which we'll figure that out together, um, and then uh, faster charging basically. So without any further ado, because I know we just wanna see what it looks like, let me show you an unboxing. All right, so here is the box, a knife. I'm gonna cut this open here. Get that out of there. And we got two things. We got a charger kit and the actual IQ itself. Now the box is, it's definitely Get out of their box. It's definitely smaller than the other box, the one that they typically come in, or at least the IQ Plus. And thank you to the folks out at Butterfly who were nice enough to give me this probe in exchange for my thoughts on it, which I think you'll enjoy. Then this is the probe. It's kind of sweet looking. It's small, it's slicker. Now let's compare it to the IQ Plus, which is this one here. This is the most recent version. And you can see here quite a big difference with the form factor here. And then if we put all three together, we have the original IQ, the IQ uh, Plus over here. And then here we have the um, IQ 3, which we're excited about. So those are the three right there. And let's look at the other things in the box here. So we have the, like how to download the app, which is nice. And we have our charging cables. I am dumb and I still have the uh, iPhone 14. I didn't get the 15 yet. So we're gonna use the lightning port and we're gonna undo this here been undone and we're gonna look at this and let me see if I can shine a little light into the port there we go so it looks like a micro USB type connection in there we are then gonna take this little end right here and we're gonna plug it in to this end right here and it goes in pretty smoothly. Now that's one thing that was an advantage of the IQ Plus over the IQ is that this, this is the original IQ, you couldn't take off the cord. And then with the IQ Plus, this is just taken off. So when you have issues with the cord, you just kind of grab it like this and then unplug it. And it's got kind of a similar uh, insides. Oh, this kind of looks like, you know, the, the USB 3.0? Kind of looks like that plug right there. And then this actually comes off pretty easy. Uh, maybe even a little easier than, uh, than the IQ Plus, putting it in and taking it off. We also got a charging kit, which it's, let's see what's in there. It looks exciting. I'm gonna open this up. And oh, what is this? It looks like the wireless charger, which is a quite a different form factor relative to the old charger 
for this one for the um, IQ Plus, the penultimate edition. It's organized, we can't have a mess here. All right, so let's look at this here. And it looks like it just kind of goes right in there. And there's a little uh, thing up here, um, which presumably you can screw that right there. Presumably you can screw that into something else for like a wall mount, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's actually kind of nifty how small form factor. I mean, this makes it so much more portable. And please tell me it's USB-C. And it is, we have USB-C, which we're very excited about. So this just plugs in and you're charging, which let me just show you the difference between this charger, which I didn't know I was gonna be this excited about this charger. <laughs> I mean, the probe, I haven't even tried the probe yet, but this I'm excited about. Let me show you what the old charger looks like. I'm gonna take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Okay, so this is the old charger, and you just kind of put the transducer like this on there, so it fits kind of like that, which wasn't that bad. You just have to walk around with this thing, and it had a mini USB port on it. Now let's compare that to this little, little tiny thing. It's a really big difference with the chargers, which I think will make it a lot easier. Um, to kind of make this more portable so you can have it on shift or in the ambulance, in the OR, in your office, it's kind of wherever you want it. My one kind of, not a complaint, but I guess my one feedback was as far as traveling with it, it would have been amazing if this thing, just this was separate and we could do like a USB-C out here because now I have to bring kind of an extra cable, but considering how, big the old one was compared to this one it's it's a, a very small like very small bit of feedback there now when you first plug it in it wants you to register the device which I already did and then it walks you through a bit of a kind of tutorial on how to scan um, which I like so you can definitely go through that if you want walks you through some app stuff which we're very familiar with because we actually use the transducer quite a bit on shift. And it looks like if you want to, oh, it talks to you about how to capture uh, image with the probe, which that's actually would be huge. We'll enable our buttons here. And it looks like, yep, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do start and stop, which is kind of sweet. And then let's do, I like adjust depth for plus and minus. So we'll go ahead and do that. And enter exam, we don't need that. We don't need that. All right, so we have now been onboarded. Let me find some gel and just see what a few structures on me looks like. We're gonna do a little bit of scanning just on my arm here. And it's not bad, the resolution's pretty good. I'm gonna increase the gain just a bit and then let's practice with the buttons here. Ooh, that worked pretty good. I like that. The image quality is great too. And then I'll hit the center button. And we are, we'll use sailor and Wi-Fi. It looks like we're just capturing stills at this point. So I'll need to fix uh, or adjust that up. But let's go ahead and, it, oh, by the way, let's go ahead and decrease the depth a bunch more. And uh, this is actually very good frame rate. I mean, right, look at that, look at that. We can definitely put in a, uh, a nice, um, if we need to, an ulnar art line right there. Just careful with the veins all the way around it. And then over here, here's my radial artery. There, I'm pulsating, I'm a little excited. That's why my heart rate's elevated. It's always a little tricky to like scan your arm when you have a camera going down. So I wanted to show you some other settings. Um, let's 
change, and this is the same, the app itself is essentially works the same. We'll go to presets and let's just go to vascular. Let's do carotid and let's see how my carotid is doing today. So we're gonna place it right here. And there's the carotid. I have a bit of my thyroid right there. Here are, here's my trachea. And it looks pretty good. Let's see, if there's my, um, let's use the buttons here so that, uh, look, my hands off. I'm just gonna use the buttons, decrease the depth. And we have decreased the depth. Let's go one more to two centimeters. And honestly, that is, easily nerve blockable, right? Like the quality of this is pretty good. Um, there is my uh, inner scaling brachial plexus. Let me give you a little sniff um, so you can see my anterior right there, anterior or middle scaling move in relation to the inner scaling brachial plexus there. And there it is. And this is my initial impressions on the IQ3. I haven't scanned on shift with it yet, but I will soon and I'd love to compare images to show you all. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on how this transducer works in relation to other cart based machines on the other versions of the butterfly. If you have any specific questions or things you want me to check out, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.